Now that we've seen what the single index model is and the equation that we use, we want to see how we can actually go about estimating the parameters. So this is our equation for the single index model. The only problem we have is that we don't actually know what alpha or beta are. And we also don't really know what the variance of the epsilon term is. So we have to try and go about estimating these, which we're obviously going to do using historical data. So the main idea behind it is that we want to go back through our historical data of the rates on the rate of return on the asset and the rate of returns on the market and make comparisons between what the rate of return on the asset was and what we should have expected it to be. So we're going to look at an expectation of the excess return on the asset over the risk-free rate, but with one stipulation. As we go back through our historical data, we are also going to have data telling us what the actual realized return on the market index was. So rather than simply using the expected value of the market return, we are going to have actual data for it. So we are just going to fill that in instead.